Marcus has some other bed. <laughs> okay, come <laughs> sahamni da. everybody thanks for stopping by uh, thanks to all the people who've been subscribing and liking uh, it really helps me out a lot uh, today I wanted to focus on the digital nomads and the people from the US who are thinking about moving here uh, the reason why I want to focus on that is I see thousands of people going to Thailand and going to uh, Bali and I believe that Saipan has more to offer, especially the U.S. citizens. I believe that Saipan has more to offer than those places because you constantly have to worry about visas if you're in Thailand and you're in Bali. You're constantly having to go back and forth to the immigrations and renew your visas and all that kind of stuff. Well, you don't have to do that here in Saipan if you're a U.S. citizen. And if you're a U.S. citizen, you can come to Saipan and stay as long as you want to stay. And you don't have to go back and forth to immigrations and you don't have to deal with all that stuff. And the food prices are about the same as they are in, in Thailand and uh, Bali. So as far as food is concerned, you're going to pay about the same price. And the accommodations, you can find accommodations here in Saipan that's roughly around the same price as what you would pay in Thailand or Bali. Uh, you're going to have to shop around a little bit, but I'm going to get into all that this video. I'm going to... Because I've had a lot of comments and questions on my on my comments and I want to answer all those questions and try to address all the questions that the digital nomads and the people who are in the United States who are interested in coming to live here I want to answer all those questions for you in this video is my focus is the digital nomads the retirees the people from the United States who have an income a good solid income and you want to come to Saipan I'm going to answer all those questions for you in this video. And uh, so if you're a businessman, for example, uh, this is a good example of where Saipan would be a good fit. Uh, there's a lot of businesses here in Saipan or, or a lot of businesses that you could set up here in Saipan that would really contribute to the community. One business that comes to mind right off the bat is scooter rental. They used to have a guy who was renting scooters a while back. He closed down. I don't know what he did with all of his scooters. But one thing I can tell you is that there's no scooter rentals here. And one of the reasons I think they don't have a scooter rental is because if you rent a scooter to somebody and they go drive it down to Ladder Beach, for example, none of the infrastructure, none of the roads and stuff like that are set up for tourists like they are in, in Thailand. So you go riding down to Ladder Beach with a scooter or a rental car it's going to tear up the suspension and it'll completely destroy a scooter so <clears throat> if you start a scooter rental for example you're gonna to have to start like a, a off-road uh, or an enduro type scooter instead of just your average street scooter it's not going to work here in Saipan it'll work if you restrict them from going in those places but they're going to try and go to those places so I think it would be better to buy all the scooters that are designed to go off-road that have really good suspension like a dirt bike then you're not gonna have a problem of where they're gonna drive them they can drive them wherever they want to on the island and they're not gonna be busting them up but the business of a scooter rental is needed here on Saipan they don't have one bike rental they don't have a bike rental here on Saipan that's another business that could open up here and do a really good job because None of, the none of the people who come here, like tourists and stuff, can rent a bike or rent a scooter. They, have to, they only have car rentals. That's all they have. And uh, <clears throat> so there's a lot of businesses I'm going to talk about in this video that could be uh, a really good potential business for Saipan. If you're a businessman and you're looking to invest in a place that's like paradise, this place is not going to stay down forever. COVID really kicked, them, kicked this place in the nuts, but... Uh, I think it's going to come back in a real big way. I think it's going to outgrow Hawaii because, in my opinion, it's more uh, 
it's it's got a lot to offer it's got really nice beaches if you look down the beach over here and you look down the beach over here look at that ocean like Thailand if this was Thailand you'd see boats all over the place parked in the front probably to take you to the other island that island over there there's no boats to take you to that island that's another business that somebody could open in Thailand they got all these private investors that buy a boat and run people to the other islands that's a business that could work here in Saipan too somebody could buy a boat and exclusively run people to Tinian nobody's doing it <laughs> nobody there's not there's not one single private boat that runs people to Tinian that I'm aware of uh, they could park right like around here that's a dock over there see that that's called sugar dock they could park over there and offer rides to Tinian nobody's doing it not one single person is doing it all these people who are here on the island you got a boat and you're whining about not having any money there you go that's a business you could get into today man because I know a lot of people here on the island who have already wanted they've asked me where can I get a boat to Tinian there are no boats to Tinian so somebody needs to jump on the ball uh, I'm gonna go through a lot of other businesses that are potential businesses that are really good for Saipan but I'm gonna cover all the things uh, directed towards digital nomads and people from the United States so I'm gonna prim primarily focus on people from the United States but I'm gonna go up to the airport here in a little while and uh, we're gonna talk to the customs people we're gonna talk to the people at the airport and so that even if you're from another country you want to know about information coming here to Saipan I'm gonna to try to answer all those questions in this video so uh, let's go check it out thanks for watching okay these are the planes that you fly into Saipan uh, the way to do it is you catch a plane from Guam and you go to Rota and then from Rota you come to Saipan so you gotta fly one of these island hops the big planes don't fly every day. These things fly like four times a day. And so these are the planes that you gotta catch. And you'll pick one up in Guam going to Rota. So that's the destination. You go to Rota, and then from Rota, you pick one up coming from Rota to Saipan. And I'll show you the website that you can book the tickets on if you need to book the tickets through the website. Unfortunately, uh, I couldn't get the, the customs people to go on camera and give me an interview about, uh, about the policies, about what you need to get into Saipan and stuff like that. So I'm just going to have to give you the website. You're going to have to look at it on the website. What's your favorite thing about Saipan? The beach. <laughs> okay, what, what's your favorite place in Saipan? Our favorite would be um, at Ladder Beach. Ladder yeah. Beach? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice place. Yeah, it's okay. where my... If a uh, digital nomad was coming here, that's a person who works on the computer remotely, which place would you recommend that they set up? It would be best if they do it in Garapan because that is where the people are. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, where do you where do you guys stay here on Saipan? Pinasisu. Uh, what made you decide to live there? Um nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that um Pinasisu is like where the place where we can also like not really far away from our parents kind of thing, but we oh, yeah. can, it's still nearby them. We can oh, yeah. visit them. Right there. So if, uh, do you think it's difficult for someone who's coming from like the U.S. or something to rent an apartment here? No. I think would say there's a lot of apartments. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much for your no input. Worries. I greatly yeah. appreciate it. Okay. Thank no you. Okay. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. You're on Facebook. Okay. You get the, once you get on Facebook and you're on Facebook. Then you're gonna to go to marketplace. Go to the marketplace. You're gonna to want to subscribe to groups. If you look at groups uh, in the marketplace, it doesn't matter where you're at. A uh, one word of warning I want to state is: do not try to sell anything if you are not in the location. But you can subscribe to groups on Facebook Marketplace 
that are not in your area. So if you go to the Saipan location and you subscribe to Saipan Buy and Sell, those are the primary groups you want to subscribe to. All the Saipan Buy and Sell groups, subscribe to all those groups. And then it's going to bring those listings up in your Facebook marketplace. And then as I'm scrolling down here, go all the way down, scroll all the way to the bottom to property rentals. Okay, so you click on property rentals and then you click on apartments for rent. Boom, there's all the apartments for rent. This is on Facebook Marketplace. It's very easy to do. You just go to Facebook Marketplace and then uh, if you subscribe to all the, the groups for Saipan Buy and Sell, this stuff will automatically pop up in your feed because this is where they're posting all these things. But if you go to the marketplace and you have your location set for Saipan, it's going to automatically show you all the listings that are in Saipan. As you can see, all these listings are Saipan. Uh, but in order for these to pop up in your Facebook marketplace, you're going to have to have your location changed to Saipan. You're going to have to show that you've moved to Saipan. And then all these, location, all these uh, ads are going to pop up in your Facebook marketplace. But this is how you find an apartment in Saipan. So if you're a digital nomad, you're just coming here for a little while, you can click on one of these, for example, this one, and it's got all the different uh, it's got all the different pictures for each location. And then it's got the contact info. You can message this person. Over here, you click on the message, and you'll be able to message this person ask them any question would you be able to do it for two months I'm a digital nomad I'm only here for two months whatever the question is you can send them a question directly to the property manager and then they'll respond through you, to you through Facebook and <clears throat> uh, Facebook is re normally pretty secure if you have any questions about the the person you can actually go to their profile don't try to be cutting a whole bunch of deals with somebody if you're not in Saipan because they're going to think you're a scam artist. So uh, don't be trying to cut deals with somebody in Saipan if you're not in Saipan. Wait till you get here and then while you're in the hotel waiting to find a place, then you can go down here to the properties. Over here, like I showed you a minute ago, you go down to the properties, property rentals, click on property rentals, click on apartments. Then you can start shopping around for apartments and then you can start making some phone calls from the hotel after you get here. Don't be trying to set up a deal before you even get here because the majority of the people are just going to think you're a scam artist. Now this one's an Airbnb. This is good for digital nomads, but the price is, is $300. Uh, it says $300 a month. So that would be great for a digital nomad. It's completely furnished. It's all set to go. You're going to find these kind of things on Facebook as well. And this is also in Saipan. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is, wow, this is amazing for $300 a month. This is better than what I got. <laughs> I should rent this place. But uh, these guys are usually only for like a couple of months. They're not usually looking to rent long term. Uh, but this is outstanding for 300 a month. That's amazing. Uh, but yeah, this is a kind of thing. It says 300 a month. I don't know how accurate this is, but that's what it says. But this is an amazing deal for 300 a month. Look at that. But yeah, you can you can message the uh, you can message the people and ask them the questions about whether or not the place is still available and all the particulars. This is another one. Uh, this looks like it might be per night. Oh, well, it says 150 per month. Wow, that's outrageous too. So this is the best place for digital nomads to find a place. But keep in mind, most of these really cheap places that you're seeing, they're nowhere near the beach. So you're going to have to have a car. You're going to have to rent a car. So you're going to tack on the rent for your car on top of how much you're paying per month. But these are really nice places, a lot better than a lot of the places I was uh, showing you earlier. Uh, but this is the primary way that you find a place to rent here in Saipan. Okay, for our first accommodations for our nomad travelers, we have this beautiful location here.
Hi. Okay, what do you like best about Saipan? I like the beaches for sure. Oh, I yeah? grew up here, so I've always went to the beaches with my parents. And as a baby, my mom brought me here and taught me how to walk on the beach as well. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. So you're originally from Saipan or no? Yes, I was born in Asia. Okay, what's your favorite uh, place in Saipan? Honestly, I haven't really gone out much. Uh-huh. I know Garapan is a place that most people go to since there's a lot of places to explore and tourists are always going there. Right. If a digital nomad is coming here, like these people who travel the world working on computers, where do you think would be the best place for them to set up? At a hotel for sure. If you want yeah, to but at what location? Like CK, Garapan, where do you think? Garapan if you want to like see the city side, but honestly it's not really a city. Yeah. Saipan doesn't really have cities, but it's all about the comfort. If you were going to buy a house or, or rent a house, what location in Saipan would you pick? Probably around Susuki if you want your child to be at Marana's High School. Yeah. Or Garapan, because in this range you could go to the school here. Or if your child is in like elementary school, you could go for any location that has an elementary school. It depends yeah. on your So situation. schools is your top priority. Yes, until okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure if you want like a job. So when you graduate, are you planning to leave the island or are you gonna stay here? Probably leave. Oh, okay. You know, like, yeah, most of the explore. most of the girls go someplace else. Yeah. Plus, okay. I kind of want to explore, you know, because I've been stuck in this island. Oh, have you thought about where you want to go? Probably a city in the states. Like yeah. California or someplace like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your input. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, that phone number in case you can't read it is 670-483-4258 or 670-286-4285. Okay, just for an example, this is a apartment complex that's being renovated right now. I just talked to these guys over here. They said it should be available for rent uh, by December, which is only in a couple months. So if you're a digital nomad, this is the kind of places you can check uh, as places like this. There's lots of apartments that are being renovated right now. And uh, this is right across the street from that business center I was just at. This is right here in Chalampio, uh, which is a really nice place to be. It's right by one of the nicest beaches in Saipan. And right next door is a subway. So if you're hungry, you can go next door for a subway. See right here is a subway and a really good grocery store. And then right over here is that apartments that are being renovated. So if you're a digital nomad, you want to come here. That's another, that's another issue. If you're in Bali or Thailand, there's actually international laws that say you can't rent an apartment if you're in another country. If you're a US citizen, you can come here and rent one of these apartments really cheap, probably for the same price that you can spend in Bali and Thailand. And right next door, you got a subway. And they also have a uh, Golden Ribbon Restaurant as a Filipino restaurant. So if you like some uh, Filipino food, there's Filipino food there. And you got a really good grocery store over there. And then over here, it looks like there's a Chinese restaurant or coffee shop. I don't know if it's open right now, but my point is places like this are being renovated all the time around here in Saipan. And so you just got to look around and you can find something really reasonable. Uh, here's another building that would be good for digital no nomads. Uh, it looks like most of the apartments on that top floor are rented except for that one on the end. And you'd have to go to the building manager and, and find out how much they are. Uh, but right across the street is a pizza place. And then right over there is Subway. That's what I'm talking about. For uh, Saipan, there's lots of places available for a digital nomad where you could be living a lot better than... Uh, and right down that road right there, just not even a block, is the nicest beach in, in Saipan. So you'd be set right here. Okay, this is the Beach House Hotel. And it's literally like just a short walk from the beach. And right here is the phone number. Uh, and you can talk to this guy here for the... Let me move the 
grass out of the way. Phone number is 670-483-5552. And you want to talk to June Lee. And right across the street from this place, you got Thai Massage. Right across the street. And this is a really nice place here. It's got a nice pool. It would be absolutely perfect for digital nomads. But you're going to have to call, the, call these people and talk to them because there's people living here, but they're not advertising as being open. Uh, but the pool's clean, and this would be prime place for digital nomads. But you're going to have to call them up and talk to them because I don't think they're... Uh, they're like taking reservations or anything. And this is the Saipan Beach Hotel. The phone number is uh, 670-235-6243 or 235-6244. And I don't know if they're actually uh, interested in having any digital nomads here, but they're right across the street from the park. See, there's, that, there's where that other hotel was that I just was talking about, the Chalon Canola Hotel. But this uh, Saipan Beach Hotel is right here next to the park, right on the beach. I mean, I think they would be willing to negotiate a rate for a digital nomad, like monthly. But you're going to have to call them up and talk to them. But that's a nice, nice little hotel right there. And it's right here by the beach it's right on the beach and it's right next to a really nice park one of the nicest parks in uh, Saipan okay there's the apartment rental sign I don't know if you can read it uh, it's area code six seven zero two eight five three three two three uh, this place has lots of apartments available. Uh, most of them are unfurnished and it's more like uh, Mexico standard, not really US standard. Uh, but if you know how to do a little bit of uh, painting and stuff like that, you can fix them up pretty nice. Uh, they're not that bad. They're just, uh, they need a little work. And if you're willing to put in a little bit of time and effort, you can make one of these places look really nice. And I know that the rent is really cheap. This is another apartment building in Chalon Kanoa. As you can see all those apartments up there, it looks like there's one available right here on the top corner. And it looks like there's another one available there in the middle. Uh, but you're going to have to go to the building that you want to live in and talk to the landlord uh, that's the only way you're going to be able to seal the deal and i don't really see any signs here that talk about who to talk to but you can go to this lady over here in the vivi's shop and i'm sure she can point you to the landlord uh, but this place is right next to fz market it's right down the street from the thai massage the pizza parlor and the subway and right down that road over there is, goes to the nicest beach in in Chalankanoa. This place is called the Shining Star Hotel and this is exclusively uh, Korean. But I tried to talk to her about monthly rate and I don't think she she liked the idea of digital nomads coming here and staying per month because they don't have very many customers right now. Uh, they It's brand new. They just got through com re renovating it. Uh, so they need customers. So if you call these guys and tell them you want to stay a month uh, They'll probably give you a deal, uh, but let me give you the phone number It's uh, right. Here's the phone number It's six seven zero seven eight nine six zero 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 or six seven zero four eight eight two two zero two um, but it'd be a good idea if you uh, found somebody who speaks Korean because I don't think these guys speak very good English um, but it's one good way to get a deal if you find somebody who speaks Korean you get a good deal huh? you like Saipan? yeah I like Saipan I like. what's your favorite place in Saipan? Uh, what's the favorite place the best place in Saipan? Uh, Managaha Managaha you like Managaha yeah, over oh, that little island over there? Uh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, say say hi my YouTube. Ah. 
name? Mark's Awesome Adventures. Mark's Awesome Adventures. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. come <laughs> on, Okay, have a good day. Okay, this place here is pretty reasonable. Uh, it's got some pretty nice rooms. Uh, the last time I talked to her, uh, she quoted me 500 a month, but hotel rates change all the time. But these guys will rent you for one night or one month. Whatever you want to do, they'll rent it to you. Uh, this is what the rooms look like. Like that. And this is the phone number over here. 788-6888. And there's, I think there's another phone number over here too. Uh, yeah, same phone number, 788-6888. That's a 670 area code. Here's the, okay, here's the prices. These guys even rent per hour, but uh, you can call them and talk to them about the, how much per night. But last time I asked them for a monthly rate, they said 500. So you can call them and talk to them. Some people were asking me where the bike shop is. This is one, there's two of them. Uh, this one's a little bit more expensive than the other one. The other one is down by uh, the Olie Bar, which I filmed in some of my other videos. This one here is right by the post office, by the intersection by the post office. And this building, uh, the top floor is rented out as apartments. I already talked to the landlord about this. Last time he quoted me 500 for the apartments on the top floor. But I don't know if that's still accurate. You have to talk to them. Right across the street is the electronics store where they sell some computers and stuff. If you look at the upper floors in this building, you can see that uh, there are some of them that are vacant. I don't know how much they're charging. There's no signs, but you just gotta go to the landlord, probably talk to the guy in the shanty poker. He can point you to the landlord and they'll tell you how much they are. This place is almost American standard. It's pretty, they're pretty nice apartments. Uh, I'm not really sure how many they have available or what they have available. Uh, you can go to the, it's the Villa Gomez Property Management Company, MS Villa Gomez. Uh, phone number is 670-235-61. 08. That's in Chalon, Kanoa. That is right near one of the best beaches in all of Saipan. Okay, if you're a digital nomad, <clears throat> okay, if you're a digital nomad, I want to tell you why it's a good idea to live in this area right here. Uh, that's why I'm showing this area first. Because if you're a digital nomad, you're not going to want to cook. Okay, that's one example. So you're gonna need restaurants. Right there's Moe's restaurant. Right over there's Harvest Cafe where you can sit and, with your laptop and use their Wi-Fi. Over there is Pep Boys. Down the street a little ways where we were just at was Subway. And the Golden Ribbon uh, Filipino restaurant. Over this way is the post office. You're gonna see here in a minute, the post office. <clears throat> and there's this little food court over here. And in the back side of this little food court at nighttime, there's a nice little bar. So this is a good little area to live. That's why I'm showing you this area first. If you're a digital, digital nomad, this area is prime. Hey, look at this area. You got a little restaurant over there, a couple of little restaurants over here, and in the back, back over here at nighttime, let me walk back over there so you can see. This place over here is usually halfway busy at nighttime. This area over here.
and then this is right next door to the US post office <clears throat> so if you're a digital nomad you need to mail something or if you want to buy something off the internet have it delivered to you and get yourself a PO box over here have it delivered right here and your walking distance if you're a digital nomad you're not gonna wanna you're not gonna wanna drive a car around all over the place you need to have everything convenient so that you can walk to it that's why this location is prime okay so that's why I'm showing you this location first and you got these little markets all over the place I'm gonna show you that too this is the post office and there's another little steak restaurant right over here and I'm just walking around the neighborhood let me walk over here hey, right there that's the smokehouse steak restaurant and uh, so you got a lot of little restaurants open and it says now is open for breakfast so if you're a digital nomad this is what you need nice little cheap places to eat post office nearby and uh, you don't have to you don't have to rent a car or anything to get to all these places you can just walk there and that's exactly what a digital nomad needs so that's why I'm recommending this area to check out first If you're a digital nomad, you're going to need to do the laundry. And I'm walking around the neighborhood right now. I'm just not, I'm not driving anywhere. I'm just walking. And this place has got a nice little store in it too so you can buy all kinds of drinks and snacks while you're doing laundry <clears throat> but if you're a digital nomad you're gonna have to do laundry and this is a good place to do laundry and I'm just walking around the neighborhood right now so this is something that's available to you if you stay in this area okay this says for rent but there's no phone number so you're just gonna have to stop over here and check out how much they want but this is an example. You just got to walk around the neighborhood and, and find something. Okay, these guys used to have prices out here. They rent apartments, but they used to have the prices out here. They don't have the prices anymore. So you're just going to have to stop by and check it out. This area I'm walking around is just like a block or two from the beach. Uh, it's, it's all in the same area. And if you're a digital nomad, you're not going to want to cook. So you're going to need little little places that serve food like this. And uh, the reason why they don't have places like this like on the street like they do in Thailand is because the rent is so cheap here that you don't need to set up on the street. There's lots of places available that you can actually get in a building. See, look at this. If you're into construction, you just put a roof on that place, you probably make a deal with the with the landlord to rent it out here's another example there's hundreds of examples like this I could give you the typhoon blew the roof off these houses a long time ago and they just never fixed them so if you know construction you could make a good deal with the landlord on these places and uh, fix the place up and move right in they'll probably give you dirt cheap rent Hello. Uh, so what's your name my name is Stormy so what brought you to Saipan? My husband's from here. He's a local. Okay, so you like Saipan then, right? We do. We love what's it. What's your What's your favorite place in Saipan? Ooh, that's a hard one. Probably this beach, honestly. We... Chalankanoa? Mm hmm Oh, yeah? Or Aquarius, yes. And do you live in Chalankanoa or you, you live on the other part of the island? We live in Kagman. Oh, what made you decide to live in Kagman? Um, that's where my in-laws live. Okay. They built a house there. Uh, why do you think somebody should pick Saipan over Guam? Oh, I don't know a lot about Guam, but uh, just the the testament of how they try to keep the culture 
and yeah. not I mean we do there are advancements you know but just the slow pace Okay. And like family is the most important thing, and mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, for digital nomads that are traveling around the world, there's like thousands going to Bali and thousands going to Thailand, and I suggested that they come here because they don't have to deal with the immigration thing. Right. Where do you think would be the best place for a digital nomad to set up here in Saipan? Ooh. Hmm. I don't know if I can say. I've only been here three months so okay. far, but. Hagman's pretty nice. Oh, okay. It's kind of got that more like country feel. Oh, yeah. So, like urbanized. Is there places to rent for a digital nomad in Kagma? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, there, know. there. I've seen some places in uh, Gadapan, and there are a few places around here, but I don't know about Kagma that much. Yeah. yeah. We need to throw the beautiful sand place. in the water. Okay, well, thanks very much for, for uh, your you're input. Welcome. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. This is downtown Gatapan in all its glory. Anybody who's interested in a, a private post office box, this is where you go. I mean, this is one of the places. There's several, but this is one. So when you get here, you want to set up a private post office box, this is where you go to a place like this. And this is right in downtown Gatapan. For the digital nomads who are planning to set up in Gatapan, uh, you're going to need to know about this place. Uh, this is Monster Pizza and they have the best pizza in Gatapan. Uh, in my opinion, their bulgogi pizza, you come here, you ask for their bulgogi pizza, it, it'll knock you out, man. It's, it's really awesome. Uh, so yeah, this is my favorite pizza place in Gatapan. Uh, and it's fairly reasonably priced. So if you're a digital nomad and you're setting up in Gatapan, this is definitely a place to remember. And when you're cruising around the back streets and got upon, you're going to find nice places like this. So that's what I'm saying. When you get here, you have to cruise around to find the place you want to stay in and then just talk to the landlord at those places because they're not going to advertise. A lot of them are not going to advertise. This is another great example in got upon. That'd be a great uh, idea for digital nomads. Uh, this is a hotel and it's got one of the most popular restaurants are not yeah restaurant and uh, uh, grocery store in in Gatapan. It's got a lot of Japanese uh, snacks and stuff in there, and a lot of the other stores don't have that. Uh, so this is a really good place to check out if you're wanting to hook up a digital nomad place. This is a good place to go talk to these people. Uh, this is another set of apartments, uh, but it doesn't have any sign or anything on it. These people probably do advertise, uh, so they might be a little bit more expensive. But this is right here in Gatapan also. Uh, for all the digital nomads who set up in Gatapan, this is where you're going to do your laundry. Uh, these guys are 24 hours, so that's really convenient. That's one of the most convenient laundry places on Saipan, actually. This is another hotel in Gatapan that I recommend you check out for a digital nomad place. Uh, sometimes they're a little bit expensive, but I think if you're talking about per month or something like that, I think they'll cut you a deal. This is another example of a hotel that you want to try to work a digital nomad deal with. Uh, I think these guys left and went to the Philippines and they just closed the hotel. But they sh they're supposed to be opening up again pretty soon, but you're just going to have to call them and work it out. Uh, you're going to have to shop around. That's basically my point. Uh, when you get here, you have to shop around and figure out where you're going to be. That's the best way to do it. There's another place here that has rooms, but you're going to have to, like I said, you have to talk to the management and see what kind of a deal you can cut with them. But this is in Gatapan. This is another place in Gatapan. And here's a couple other places. This one here and that one there. 
And this is, this is the Holiday Hotel. This is the Holiday Hotel. Okay, uh, how long have you been here? Uh, like three weeks. Three weeks. Uh, where did you come from? Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. What brought you to Saipan? Um, I got a job here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, um, what's your favorite place in Saipan? Um, either Pau Pau Beach or maybe Gaha. Okay, was it easy for you to find an apartment here? Um, well, e yeah, just through, like, people who already lived here, but there's, like, no info. So you mind. just found an apartment through word of mouth? Yeah. Okay. Basically. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing is uh, I'm trying to show the digital nomads what it's like to live here. Uh, is there any place you would recommend for a digital nomad to set up if they came here? Um, I don't, what's a digital nomad? That's a person who makes a living using the computer, traveling around the world, uh, um, like working remotely. The, any of the, the Annex apartments or Casey Farms? I mean, would you recommend Garapan or Chalankanoa uh, or any place uh, like that? It's probably somewhere, maybe Hill or Capitol Hill or something like that. Oh, okay. Somewhere in this area. All right. Okay, thank you very much for your input. I appreciate yeah, it. Here's a place you can rent a car, or a Mustang, because it looks like that's all they got is Mustang. It's a coffee shop and a pizza place, but this pizza place over here is pretty expensive. Hey, this is a really good place. I mean, the food quality is really good. Uh, but before they renovated the place, you used to be able to get a nice large American style large pizza for around 20 bucks. Now, for $20, all you get is a 12 inch pizza, pepperoni probably. But uh, I was really not into the price after they renovated the place. The place, prices went sky high and I wasn't really able to go in there after that. But prior to them renovating, I went in there three or four times. Okay, uh, this is probably one of the best digital nomad places in Saipan. Uh, their coffee is really expensive, but they have a good Wi-Fi and they got lots of places to sit. So if you're a digital nomad, you're probably going to want to hang out here if you're if you're if you're based in Gatapan. This is this is going to be your place. Okay, uh, for example, if you're a digital nomad and you're staying in Micro Beach Hotel, for example. Uh, you could eat right over here at Coconut Tea, which has pizza and a lot of different good foods. They got a good massage parlor here, and right across the street over here is the Hyatt, which has the Hyatt bar, and they also have a really good restaurant in the Hyatt, so you got food options there too. It's a little expensive, but uh, if you feel like splurging, that's a good place to go. Now this says it's a commercial building. That's a Micro Beach Hotel right there. So theoretically, you could get a ocean view room in that place, or almost. Cause you're looking at the Hyatt, not really looking ocean view, but that that would be a, a good place to check. But this place says it's a commercial building, but if you look at the top floor, it's all boarded up. So you might be able to negotiate with them to rent rent one of those rooms uh, long term if you wanted to. Uh, you just got to be careful with the landlords that you deal with here in uh, Gatapan because you never know. But all these places on the bottom of this floor are empty. So this guy needs money. <laughs> this complete, the building is completely empty right now. This building right here. So you probably could work a pretty good deal with this guy if you got a hold of him. Okay, and if you do want to rent from this guy, the phone number is 670 287 0474 that's the manager's phone number and if you see this building here they've got beautiful patios on their apartments and they're back in front they've got some over here they've got some over here and it looks to me like they got a couple boarded up on the top floor and this looks like it would be a really nice place to live uh, I have I don't know anything about this uh, landlord 
I think he's the guy who owns this restaurant. Uh, he, this restaurant used to be open not too long ago, but he shut it down. But yeah, this the second floor on this place is boarded up. So I would definitely check out this guy. Uh, you could probably work a really great deal with this guy too. Okay, this property right here uh, in Gatapan. It's got some really nice balconies. It's right across from the Hyatt. And if you're interested in this property, it looks like uh, Sandy Weaver is the person you're going to contact. 670-989-2502. And uh, the email address is uh, Sandy, so that's with the S, Realty670 at gmail.com. Hi. One of the things I liked most about living in Gatapan is I could walk over here and party at the Hyatt uh, Beach Bar, and which was really convenient. I really like hanging out at the Hyatt Beach Bar. A lot of the higher class local people that live here, they all come down here and hang out at the beach bar at sunset. And the Hyatt lets them do that. They, they really don't like it if people get out of hand, but as long as you're cool and uh, buy lots of drinks, they really don't care. Which is cool, I like that. And hey, this is another place. Uh, it looks like it's got some really nice rooms. And it's called the Victoria Hotel. But it looks like all the rooms are empty. So here's another place. You talk to the landlord, work them a deal. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could probably work them a good deal if it's empty. Okay, this Naked Fish has been known to be a really good restaurant. Uh, and it was open even through COVID, but it doesn't look like it's open right now. But there's something open over here. It's got the lights on. Uh, maybe for the rooms upstairs. I don't know. But uh, yeah, check out Naked Fish if you're a digital nomad. That's a good place to eat. Here's another apartment building right here. That looks like it has rooms. There's no signs out. Uh, but like I said, again, once you decide where you want to live, you just talk to the landlord. And that's how you work the deals, man. Okay. Uh, how how long have you been here in Saipan? Uh, about four days. Okay. Uh, what what made you decide to come here? Work. Okay. Uh, it, it, what is your favorite place in Saipan? Oh my gosh, my favorite place in Saipan is Wing Beach. Oh yeah. If uh, if a digital nomad was coming to Saipan, which which area would you recommend? Which area would I recommend? Yeah. Uh. Can I say Rhoda? Yeah, sure. Hey, Rhoda. <laughs> Rhoda, you like Rhoda better than Saipan? I, well, I, not better. I just, I like, that's a good place to recommend. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, what but, do you like uh, about Rhoda? I like that it's, um, it's a little bit more calmer, you oh, know? It's, that's cool. It's, it's Have you been to Guam? Yeah. Uh, do you like Saipan better than Guam? Uh, yes. Uh, what, what reasons do you like Saipan better than Guam? Saipan feels like family. Oh, that's, that that's a good, good... <laughs> good, good way to put it. Okay, uh, if there's anything that you would tell a digital nomad about Saipan, what would it be? Uh, you can do so many things here. You can go snorkeling and scuba diving and swimming. And it's the, the world is your oyster here. Yeah. The food is great. I mean, the, the beer is great right around the corner too. Yeah. Okay, well, I greatly appreciate your input. Sure. Thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day. You too. Okay, this, if you're a digital nomad and you're based in Gatapan, this is a great place to save money. Uh, this barbecue is fantastic. Uh, and it's right here by the beach. So you can literally get your barbecue and go to the beach and eat it. And if you want a beer or something with your barbecue, right over there, that little blue building right here on the corner, that's the liquor store. You can go over there and get yourself some beer, come over here, get some barbecue, Walk out over there to the beach, have a good time for a really cheap amount of money and have a really nice atmosphere and everything. Oh yeah, look at that. If this place is called the Star Sands Hotel and it looks like almost every single room in the place is empty right now. Uh, on the bottom floor they rent, they rent cars and then right across the street it's some of the most popular bars in Saipan. 
So if you rent if you rent a room for one of these from this place over here and there's a place over there too but if you rent a room for one of these places over here you're right across the street from all the action and there's another rental car place over there so this is where all the bars are okay i wanted to give you another close-up shot of the star sands hotel and you can see that place and you can see it's right across the street from all the bars right over there and you can see they got apartments over there too and it looks like they got apartments over there on the top area over there too but it's all glassed in i don't know if i'd like that too much to have some serious aircon for a place like that but uh yeah there's lots of places available and it looks like they got offices on the top floor over there too so you have lots of options this place here would be a great place for a digital nomad and if you're looking to set up a business right over here look at this corner office space or corner business space right here right on the corner in one of the most busy busiest areas in Gatapan. you're looking to set up a bike rental shop or something like that here or a moped rental shop here you go right here you got the you got the sp space to do it right here perfect area to do it right here i don't know what you're waiting for all right, my name is Khalik Zaman. Okay. And phone number is here. Okay, so you, you want to say hi to my YouTube channel? This is a taxi driver. He'll pick you up from the airport. Taxi driver. <laughs> okay, so the phone number that I got here is 670-287-2950. Uh, uh, so this is who you call. If you arrive at the airport, you call these guys to come pick you up. Thank you. Okay car rental place it's right here in Gatapan and uh, if you stay in Gatapan uh, you can literally walk to one of the nicest restaurants in Saipan which is uh, Lucky Bill's Thai restaurant that's what we're looking at right now Lucky Bill's Thai restaurant and I did a video about that place so uh, you can check out that video if you want to see more about the food and stuff Another cool thing about setting up in Gatapan is you got all these uh, restaurants to eat from. If you're uh, a digital nomad, you're not going to want to cook. So there's lots of restaurants to go to. The average price for a meal is about 15 bucks. Some a little bit more, some a little bit less. Uh, but the average meal is about $15. And I'm going to just take a zip around Gatapan and show you all the restaurants so you know what kind of food you have to choose from. Now this is one of the nicer apartment uh, complexes that I was talking about. Uh, like again, you're gonna have to talk to the landlord about the prices and stuff. Kinpanti is a really good place to, to check out for food. Uh, at nighttime mostly, at daytime sometimes they're closed, but nighttime they, they tend to open up. And they got good barbecue sticks. And this, uh, there's a bar over here somewhere. Look at where the bar went. I think it's right there where those white doors are. Uh, it's closed right now, but it opens up at nighttime. So this whole area kind of opens up at nighttime. These guys are another place. That's, they, they get a sign that says they're open, but I don't know. You have to check them out. By the looks, it looks like this place has rooms, but it looks like those rooms would be really hot unless they got a really good air conditioner. But you could check it out. This is Treasure Island. There's a MySpace restaurant over there. Uh, they serve uh, Chinese food. And over here you have a, this is an American restaurant over here. They serve uh, steaks and hamburgers and uh, really, uh, it's called the Country House Restaurant. I've eaten there a couple of times. These guys were planning on opening up. I see lights on in there, but I'm not really sure if they're actually open again. You'll have to check at nighttime because most of these restaurants close during the noon time till about four o'clock in the afternoon then they open up same with the country house the country house doesn't open until later on in the evening because uh, most of these restaurants close for lunchtime these guys used to be an ice cream shop and then they turned it into a bar and a steakhouse and I don't know but they're trying real hard so I'll, maybe you should check them out Okay, those open air uh, bars and restaurants you see across the street, those are new. Uh, they just opened up recently, but they're only open at nighttime. And the Waffle House uh, just opened back up again recently too, so. 
Uh, this is another nice little apartment complex that you can check out. This is called the Sea Passion Apartments. Uh, and you just have to come over here and check it out and talk to the landlord. This here is another local secret. Uh, this is a Filipino restaurant. And we're right now we're only like a couple of blocks from Garapan. Uh, it's only a couple of blocks from the beach over there. The park is over that way. Uh, and this is down a little side road. But that's the thing, you go down these little side roads over here in Garapan and you're going to find these little places like this and this is how you save money if you're a digital nomad. Okay, this place is called the Clearwater Hotel and they have rooms all up on the top floors. Uh, so you can come in here and talk to them and see how much they want to charge you. But they got a spa, a Bali spa down here. This is another example of uh, these little barbecue shops that are all around Garapan and uh, they serve really good barbecue and this is the phone number right here here's another place that rents rooms on Garapan okay this place here looks like it's perfect for a digital nomad uh, it's called the Seda Blanca and this is the number right here it's uh let me walk up here and see if I can get in here okay so the phone number is uh 670-233-8880 there you go call them up make a deal this Adams site here that I'm looking at uh, here it's got it's got some really nice places here uh, it's got an option of one bedroom one bath two bedrooms one bath three bedrooms two baths which should accommodate a lot of people and uh, the prices are 550 for the one bedroom 650 for the two bedroom and uh, it's got another 750 for the two bedroom it must be it must be some kind of a deluxe uh, and then it's got all the contact info and then it's got a whole different building uh, but these are some really nice places and they're furnished so for a uh, digital nomad this is a perfect solution uh, even better than a lot of the places that I've showed already but I wanted to show the really cheap places around Chalon Kanoa this particular place is located in Gatapong which is also semi-convenient, but uh, it's a completely different atmosphere. If you want a place tall to your own, look at this place. This place is almost like a mansion. Uh, this is the info for it. That's all I got. It says uh, 670-483-7119. And talk to Amy. That's a nice place. This is another place. It's like two blocks from the beach, from uh, and it's in Garapan. It's right in Garapan. Uh, you can walk to the pizza place that I showed you a little while ago if you wanted to. Here's an empty house if you wanted your own house, and it's right here in Garapan. And it doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. You just got to put the door back on. Okay, this place here is located on one of the main roads, but it looks like the top floor is all apartments. I'm not really sure how many are available, but you could talk to one of the stores on the bottom floor and they could uh, hook you up if you're interested in this place. This is right down the street from the Memorial, uh, the Mo American Memorial Park. Uh, and the beach is right down there. Okay, if you like something a little bit more fancy, those places that are up on the hill over here, most of those usually run roughly around 600 bucks sometimes a little bit more sometimes a little bit less uh, and you're overlooking got upon this is a tennis court so you can walk down the walk down the hill over there to the tennis court here the hospital is right there that's what the hospital looks like that's the only hospital we have here on Saipan and uh, you can walk down that hill and go right straight into got upon that's got upon right there it's under uh, CNMI rents .com. And uh, it's Navy Hill Apartments, which is a really nice place, especially for digital nomads. 
I'm not really sure how much they charge. Uh, you're probably going to have to have a car to live there. But the apartments and the view is spectacular. And it's got a swimming pool. Uh, and it's got the information to call and everything and an email address on the website. So, Okay. These used to be Navy housing back when the Navy was here on Saipan. Uh, as well as Capitol Hill, same thing. That was Navy housing as well. But the Navy pulled out and now some of these are available. Like this one here looks like it's available. I have no idea how much. You're going to have to contact the owner. But the idea is that uh, if you're interested in one of these places, if you want to have a place to your own instead of living in an apartment, that's doable, you know. Uh, these are all really nice places. And this is where a lot of the, the police live. Uh, a lot of the government bought up some of these houses and they use them for police housing. So it's a pretty safe area to be. And the school is right around, oh, there's a school right there. So if you want to be close to the school, there's another thing you can think about. But yeah, the, all these houses used to be Navy housing a long time ago when the U.S. Navy was here. But this is right here in Garapan. Like I, as I said, see, this is a police substation right here. So this is a pretty safe neighborhood if you want a house instead of an apartment. Okay, this is the ABC store. Uh, this is as close you're going to get to a 7-Eleven style shop here in Saipan. Uh, but it does have a lot of the stuff that 7-Eleven has. It just doesn't, I don't think they have coffee, like hot coffee. But they have most of the other stuff and they have a few gifts and stuff like that too. And over here is all the high-end retail shops. Uh, not really suited for a digital nomad, but if you need something, perfume or whatever, that's where you're gonna go to get it. If you got a business idea, like I said, this is the place for business. There's lots of opportunities and places for you to set up a business if you got some ideas. This is right here in downtown Gatapon, right across the street from the high-end retail shops. And uh, also they have, I love Saipan over there too, and there's some more high-end retailers. And then you got rental space right here, ready to go. Right next door to the ABC store. So, got any ideas? Talk to these guys right here. Okay, for the digital nomads, this is another place you're going to want to check out. This is a coffee shop, a, a really high-end coffee shop. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they got Wi-Fi there too, so go ahead. So if you uh, are wanting to set up and do your work, uh, that's probably a place you could could check out. Okay, this is Joe Ten uh, Shopping Center in Gatapan. Uh That's a casino that's not open. Uh, these hotels over here, it's it's on and off. You're gonna have to talk to them. I don't really think those hotels there are a good match for a digital nomad. But Joe Ten, this is where you're gonna do all your grocery shopping. They got footwear, shoes, and stuff. And uh, another little secret that I use is uh this deli just rocks here in Joe 10. It opens at seven o'clock in the morning. If you're a digital nomad, you want a coffee, you don't want to brew it, this is a great place to check out. Also they've got salads and all kinds of stuff in their deli. And uh I highly recommend checking this place out if especially if you're a digital nomad and you're trying to save some money. They got all kinds of stuff in this deli over here. So uh Definitely check this out if you're based in uh, Gatapan. I think these guys really need to paint the outside of this place because it looks like they're not even open. But this is one of the best liquor stores in Gatapan. So if you're looking for something that's imported like a uh, Amaretto or something like that that you can't find in your regular grocery store, uh, this is a place to check out. Uh, so if you got a, a special kind of alcohol that you like, a special kind of tequila or something like that, these guys normally got it. Uh, this is the grotto they're not open right now but uh yeah this is a, supposed to be a halfway decent restaurant yeah, i don't know if you can see that little sign over there but right over there is a mcdonald's and then right over here you got wild bills which is thai food this is the mcdonald's uh it's right down the street from the center of Gatapan, so that you can walk here this is where the McDonald's is, and that's the beach. 
that's how close it is so you can get yourself a mcdonald's and walk over there and eat it on the beach okay yeah uh what's your favorite place in saipan the whole island oh, yeah? and the whole <laughs> 15 islands <laughs> okay if somebody's coming here that works on the computer they travel around the world but they do their job on the computer yes what place in saipan do you think is best for them to like rent a hotel for a month or something like that depending on their budget yeah they want to get cheap because a digital nomad they don't like to spend a lot of money they like yeah. to rent like a, an apartment uh, nowadays we we don't know the rates of the hotels because of the covid no we haven't been going yeah, going yeah. around yeah. But I can tell you the activities that's happening now. Yeah. We're celebrating the uh, Carolinians and both Carolinians and Chamorro culture oh, yeah? are celebrating our uh, cultural heritage month. Oh, that's cool. This month. Oh, that's the cool. The month of every September. I didn't we know celebrate. that. That's so cool. So on Saturday, we're going to have the 13th Fisherman Mass. Oh, yeah? Uh, memorial Mass for the 13, 13 of our boys that went up north and uh perish in the, the typhoon oh yeah uh, yeah they didn't make it back where are they going to hold that festival at we always hold it here the mass right here and, yeah oh, okay ceremony on saturday night so okay. you're welcome okay. i mean evening so, okay uh, that's why we're preparing this uh okay uh, i'll venue. come check it out yes <laughs> and then we'll have the uh, mass and ceremony and everything okay and then you can check the our carolingian uh cultural uh office yeah, yeah. I, I have and been in there. I used to work for a furniture company that um, put all the furniture in that place. So I've been in there. Yeah. At the CAO? Yeah. I've the been in office? I've been inside there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just recently? Uh, oh, maybe sorry. about uh, six months ago. Oh, no. You just recently announced what the activities for this month. They have a whole listing of this month's activity. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so there's okay. Lino Tenorio. It used to be a... Uh, he's a retired cop. Uh -huh. Now he's doing uh, deep fishing fishery clinics yeah. with uh, the community. So whoever wants to sign up for the clinic, they contact Lino. Yeah. And, uh, for more activities, you can go check our office because they have the listing of the whole activities. Then we're going to be celebrating the first Carolingian chief that came out to Saipan. Uh, during the month also. Oh, yeah? And, uh, yeah. Managaha. Managaha? Yes, yeah, please. I was out there. I did a video on Managaha uh, a few weeks ago. Yes. I actually filmed the, the chief statue and everything. Yes. That's good. So yeah. it's celebrated within the month of uh, September also. Oh, okay. So that's it's good. line up of all activities. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and then yeah. they go out. We send our people out to the schools, to, you know, elderly to tell. Yeah, that's cool. I uh, broke both my arms and... Uh, one of the only people that actually cared about it was a Carolinian girl in uh, in uh, Chalancanoa came up to me and get, wove me a little wristband and asked me if I was okay and stuff like that. Yeah, so I kind of oh, feel wow. I, I, I kind of feel a little bit of affection towards the Carolinian people. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I great I greatly appreciate you telling me that. Uh, and uh, I'll tell my YouTubers about that. And I'll, I'll post yes. this on there. You can see this on Mark's Awesome Adventures. Okay. Okay. My name and, uh, is Amy Peter Palakin, and I I started the Flame Tree Festival. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot for your input. I appreciate yes, it. Have you. a good day. Thank you for coming. Okay. See you on Saturday. Okay. Okay. This is another good grocery store if you're located here in Gatapan. As I mentioned earlier, uh, if you're on a budget, these little barbecue places, they got them all over the place. And this is a really good place to check out is these little barbecue places like this. Uh, they're reasonable and uh, actually you can see that if you look at this building, this building is full of what they call, this is like a boarding house. They have rooms in this building. So if you wanted to, you could actually rent a room right here in this building. And the phone number for this if you're interested in checking out how much these are these are really cheap these are probably like 100 150 a month uh be like uh 670-783-5581 okay we got a place here and a place there that place looks like a mansion uh look at that that place looks really nice uh, this looks like another nice place to check out. It's called the Ben Cam Building. 
But again, you're gonna have to come over here and check out, check it out, and talk to the landlord. But those rooms on the top floor, those look like apartments. And that building there looks like it's newly renovated. That's where the 888 Fun and Games is. You just have to go in there and talk to them, and they'll be probably be able to put you in touch with the landlord. But that looks like they just fixed that one up. Okay, there's another place you can check out. And it's got a nice little convenience store over here. And this place here is right across from the beach. Right here. If you're a digital nomad, you're going to need to know where the computer store is. And uh, that's one of the best computer stores in Saipan. But it's really not as good as the ones in the U.S. But that's, that's as good as you're going to get. And you got apartments here. You get apartments here, and you get apartments here, and then right here, this beach garden uh, hotel or motel. I actually stayed in this place. This place is halfway decent. It's pretty nice, and uh, they're open to long-term stays. This is the apartment. Uh, this is the hotel, and uh, like I said, I stayed in this place, and. Uh, the last price they quoted me for long-term stay was 500 a month. But I don't know if that price still holds, so you're going to have to talk to them. But they are open to long-term stays. And this is the place here. The Beach Garden Hotel. And like I said, it's a pretty nice place. So just check this place out if you're a digital nomad. This is the Gold Beach Hotel. And uh... I'm looking at it, I see a lot of the rooms are empty, which means you could probably cut a good deal for a, a digital nomad thing. Uh, they'll probably do monthly rate and be happy about it. And the good thing about it is this is right across from the beach. We're like right here. So, you don't have a lot of convenience stores and stuff like that around here. There's a true value hardware over there, but uh, you're not going to need that. So you're probably going to have to rent a car or a bicycle if you stay here, but uh, it is right across the street from the beach. So you'll have an ocean view for sure, and they'll probably give it to you pretty reasonably. Okay, this deal right here is just screaming the Patel's name. So all you Patel's out there, this is a, a motel style hotel. It's a halfway decent sized place. It's like a Super 8. But it, it's abandoned now, so you need to check these people out and see if you can buy it or rent it. I mean, long-term lease it. And it's right across the street from the beach. How many of those motels you got is right across the street from the beach on a paradise island, huh? This is a prime investment right here. What are you waiting for? Okay, this hotel, last time I checked it was for sale or, or lease. I, and it was occupied before, so it's in pretty good condition. Uh, but it hasn't, I haven't seen anybody rent any rooms in that place since COVID. But this is another opportunity for the Patels. You need to check this one out, because this one's in really good shape, that much I can tell you. Okay, this is called Ocean Ridge Homes. Uh, if you like an American style apartment, this is where you want to check out. Uh, you're going to have to contact Ocean Ridge Homes. And but this is a beachfront place right here. We're right by the ocean, so you're gonna have an ocean view. It's gonna be blocked by trees, but that's a pretty nice place. <laughs> and this looks like this would be a good digital nomad place, except for the dogs. Uh, but uh, because he's got a big for rent sign right out here in front, and he's got rooms on the top floor up here, and it's right across the street from the beach. So if you're looking for a place that's going to be reasonably priced and right across the street from the beach, this will probably be perfect. Uh, phone number is 670-287-2000. Uh, or 670-484-2950. That's the Blue House Beach. Blue Beach House, I mean. Blue Beach House. Okay, this area here is in Susupe, uh, but this is not too far from one of the real big uh, Joe 10 stores. It's like a Costco. It's walking distance from that place. So this is a good area to be in. And right there, that place there has rooms on two floors there. And this place here has just been renovated. 
I don't know if it's open yet, but I know they're working on it. So they're planning to open it soon. Uh, you might want to get in there and see if they'll let you rent one of the rooms while they're still working on it. But uh, this is a nice place because I, I saw them working on it. Uh, this here I don't know about, but I do know they have rooms on the two floors there. And it's right across the street from the beach, so you can't really beat it. I mean, it is a good place to check out for a digital nomad. As long as they got Wi-Fi, you'd be set. Oh yeah? yeah? So which is your favorite place in Saipan? All over Saipan. I love Saipan. Anywhere. Or especially in the beach. Oh yeah? So what part of Saipan do you stay? Uh, Garapan. Garapan? Yeah. So what made you decide that you like Garapan? The Garapan is very near to Kaido. Very near because uh, high restaurant. One, two, three. So lots of restaurants. Yeah. yeah. And you like this place for the yeah. beach, yeah? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. This is a new place that opened up. This could be pretty good for a uh, digital nomad. It's right here in, in Garapan, downtown Garapan. It's right across from the Sunshine Casino. A lot of you guys have been asking me about the Wi-Fi speed. So here I'm on speed test. I am using a Wi-Fi right now. And the Wi-Fi is connected with IT&E, which it shows right here on speed test. So you can consider this speed test as the average for most of the Wi-Fi on Saipan because most of the Wi-Fi's on Saipan use the same service, the same kind of modem. So you're going to get pretty much the same results from every single Wi-Fi on Saipan in most of the hotels. So okay, let's see what, what happens here. Okay, looks like we got 43 to 45 download speeds. And we got about 570 upload speeds, which is halfway decent. It's not that bad. I mean, I've seen a lot worse. <clears throat> so there's, there's the answer to your question. How's the Wi-Fi? I just did a random test on the Wi-Fi that I happen to be using right now and that's your stats right there we got like almost 9, 45 for the download and almost 6 for the upload which is pretty good uh, so that's the answer to your question how's the Wi-Fi there it is right there okay a lot of you guys were asking me about jobs uh, first of all the job situation is really difficult here in Saipan because the minimum wage is seven fifty an hour and a lot of the people who are supervisors for the companies that you work for here in Saipan are the same supervisors that used to work as bosses when they were only paying three dollars an hour so you have kind of a slave labor culture here in Saipan uh, where the uh, employers in many cases will abuse the employees because they have this leverage over them because most of them are Filipino contract workers and they can use that as leverage to abuse them because if they don't do what they say they can threaten to send them back to the Philippines because of that culture that slave labor culture for a U.S. citizen to get a job here is very difficult because the employers don't have that kind of leverage over a U.S. citizen. Uh, and the Chamorros usually take all the government jobs, so they're not necessarily going to be interested in hiring somebody from the mainland U.S. for the CNMI government jobs. Uh, but this here is the website for the 
for the jobs here in Saipan. And I'll leave the link in the description so that you can check it out. But like I say, don't get your hopes up because nine times out of ten, if you was to get one of these jobs, you're not going to like it for many different reasons. And in some cases, they'll hire you just so that they can't get sued uh, for discrimination, but then they'll abuse abuse you until you quit or until you're injured and you can't work anymore. So, like I said, even if you were to get one of these jobs, nine times out of ten, you're not going to like it very much. Uh, culturally, you're going to be working with people uh, that you don't ordinarily see in the U.S., like groups of Chinese or groups of Filipinos or groups of Koreans, depending on the type of business. Uh, the hotel business won't even hire you if you can't speak fluent Korean. Uh, these kind of things are things you're going to have to worry about if you, if you think about working a job in Saipan. So do they have jobs in Saipan to answer that question? Yes, they have jobs in Saipan. But I'm not real sure you're going to want to work them. Even if you were able to get hired for one of these jobs, you're not going to be very happy about it. So that's why I always recommend that the people who come here are people who have an income, have a steady income, have a business, are digital nomads or retirees, those type of people. Because you cannot really rely on this job market Okay, uh, just in case uh, there's somebody out there who's thinking about does Saipan have colleges? Uh, yes, uh, Saipan has Northern Marianas College and it is a U.S. Uh, college. It's not, it's not substandard. It's a U.S. grade college. So you can live in paradise and go to school right here in Saipan. And... Uh, <clears throat> You can go to marianas.edu, that's the website, uh, and look at this website here and it will tell you everything about the Northern Marianas College. Uh, but I would really like to see more women attend this college instead of leaving the island and going someplace else to go to college. I know a lot of them want to go to school someplace else, but uh, I really think that there should be more women coming here to go to school because this is paradise. Why would you not want to come to paradise to go to school? Uh, and I do believe that the Northern Marianas College tuition uh, is much cheaper than most of the other colleges in the world. So I think you should check it out. And the acceptance would probably be pretty easy too. And you'd be living in paradise, going to school, and you could get your degree here in paradise. Uh, so I think a lot of people should consider it, and that's why I'm putting it in this video. And if you come here to live, you're going to be, if you have kids or something, you might want to think about, are, you, are your kids going to be able to get an education? Yes, that is possible. And that's why I'm putting this in this video. What's your favorite thing about Saipan? That I have a lot of family. Uh, what's your favorite place in Saipan? Like Chalon Kanoa or Gatapan or uh, what area do you like in Saipan? Yeah. yeah. You like Gatapan? Uh, what do you like about Gatapan? <laughs> the beach. The beach? Uh, do you plan on spending the rest of your life here? Or are you going to go off to college someplace else or what's your plan? You're going to plan on staying here. Good for you. Most of the people try to leave. <laughs> okay. Uh, if, you, if a digital nomad was coming here, a digital nomad is somebody who works on the computer, works remotely, and they travel around the world. Uh, and if they come here, which area, area do you think would be best for them? I think Garapan. Garapan? Because all the stores and restaurants, yeah. huh? <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much for your input. I greatly appreciate it. Have a good day. Thanks. 
Okay, a lot of people, I'm going to tell you how to book a flight to Saipan. Uh, and the reason why I'm going to go through this, a lot of people might be common sense to know how to do a flight to Saipan, but I know there's a lot of people who are from different parts of the world and they may not really know how to book a flight from to Saipan. Uh, so I'm going to go through this and I'm going to tell you the reasons why I'm doing it in this way. Uh, first of all, I recommend that you go to Expedia. I worked in the travel industry for 14 years and some people, why don't you do booking.com? Uh, well, I'm going to tell you. I worked in the travel industry for 14 years and I dealt with thousands of customers and all of their problems that they had uh, in dealing with flights going back and forth. Oops. Oops. Okay. Now I'm going to show you. Uh, anyways, I dealt. I, I, I worked in the travel industry for 14 years, dealing with all thousands of different customers, dealing with all their problems and all their reservations. And I had to work with the different different travel companies uh, in resolving a lot of the different problems. And in that experience of 14 years of dealing with all these different travel companies, uh, I got to the point where I started recommending Expedia because in my experience Expedia was hiring people that were better trained, uh, they just seemed more intelligent, uh, I had far less problems, way better customer service. Uh, so I got to the point where I didn't even want to recommend any other travel companies because I was having less problems with Expedia and Expedia was helping me do my job with less stress. So if they're going to help me, I'm going to help them. And that's basically what it boils down to. And when I uh, check the prices between Expedia and other companies, uh, Expedia is, and nine times out of ten, Expedia is offering the best deals. You might find cheaper prices on other sites but you're also going to get a lot of problems along with that. You're going to get customer service problems. Uh, I have seen literal nightmares with other other companies. But right now I'm running a search from Los Angeles to Saipan to show the different rates on Expedia. And right here I'm showing this is this is going from uh, okay, so this goes to Guam. This goes through Guam, but this is all the way to Saipan, and it's talking about uh, roughly around one thousand six to one to two thousand. But uh, this is going all the way to Saipan, uh, and this is how I booked my flight. Now they're not going to go every single day because the big flights don't come in here every single day and you may have to ride a prop plane coming in here. But my point is if you're booking from LAX to Saipan, this is not that bad. I think I paid a little bit more than this when I came but it looks like the prices have actually gone down since I've came. Uh, but this is how you book a flight into Saipan. Uh, from LA to Saipan this is what it looks like. And you just put in, put in your data into to Expedia and then hit the search and it's going to give you the prices. It's going to give you the best prices. And like I said, it might not be the cheapest uh, compared to other websites, but I'm telling you the customer service is going to be worth it. If you need to change your flight or if you need to, uh, if you have any problems with your, your reservation, you're going to have a much better customer service experience through Expedia than you will any other website. And I, I am saying this based on 14 years of working in the hotel business and working directly with all of these companies in resolving a lot of reservation issues. So believe me when I tell you, you want to avoid a lot of hassle and a lot of problems, just book through Expedia. Expedia is, I believe, the largest company 
travel company for booking flight reservations and hotel reservations. And a lot of the other companies that you see, Expedia's already bought them. So they're subsidiaries of Expedia. So just go straight to Expedia and you're gonna have a, a better experience. Uh, that's my opinion. And that's why I took a, a minute or two to talk about it here in this video. What, what's you guys' favorite thing about Saipan? The beach. The beach? Oh yeah? Which part of Saipan is your favorite place? Everywhere. Everywhere? Yeah. Everywhere yeah. Where this one. You guys are originally from here? Okay. Okay, that's cool. Okay, is there anything you want to say to people in the mainland about if that are thinking about coming here? Come and try Saipan, why not? Yeah, you might like it. Okay. Like the climate here, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. We're from different islands. Guam? No. Where? In Micronesia. Oh, yeah, which, which so island? We, we don't really know about. Which island? Chuk. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, all right, thanks. What what brought you to what brought you to Saipan from truck from truck? Uh, you know, before when the car met here, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So some they just come here. And oh, because of the special immigration policy that allowed yeah, the Micronesian. Just, so you guys came here. Before. But what made you pick Saipan? people they say it's nice oh okay that's good enough reason for me <laughs> okay they have a good day thank you one of the best things uh for the digital nomads here in Chalankanoa is uh it's got kfc and taco bell uh i don't know if you're into that but if you want to eat cheap that's one way to do it <clears throat> uh, we don't have ubers here in saipan uh, and they don't have Grab or any of those other apps. Uh, everybody uses Chinese taxis. And uh, I'll put the numbers on the screen. Uh, it's a different numbers, but they look like regular cars. They look like a car like that. So that's who you're gonna have to call. Uh, this is Bank of Guam and downtown Gatapan. Uh, if you're a digital nomad, you're gonna have to show proof of where your money's coming from, or they won't open you an uh, they won't open an account unless you can prove where your money's coming from. Uh, this is Bank Pacific. This is another good little bank in uh, Gatapan, and I highly recommend this bank because there's never any lines. And it's uh, really fast and easy.